I made the first telephone. I made the first TV. And Watashi is of make first diet water. Bruh. Bruh. What? There is such thing as diet water and Japan of all countries came up with it? This is actually real and they came up with it all the way back in 2004. Diet water is water that has no added calories and sometimes has vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes added to it. Isn't dieting usually about removing things, not adding stuff to stuff? It can add things like sweeteners, flavorings, or like we talked about, vitamins and minerals. <laughs> I feel like the best gluten-free diet water is just water. Gotta admit, in a way, it is revolutionary. Uh, uh, Japan, why are you running amok and violating everyone in my properties? Oh, you can see it's literally America's properties at this time, Hawaii and the Philippines. You see in America, in battle, when two exchange fists, they are... I don't know what that word is. Exchanging feelings. That be why Watashi and battle everyone and meet of brotherhood, camaraderie, or friendship. Um, this means friend. Okay, let's test that theory. Wait a second. After they drop two sons on Japan, they are actually going to become great best friends. This was literally like the first anime between the two. So Japan is shown fighting South Korea, fighting Taiwan, fighting the French, the Dutch, and I believe that is British Malaya. All purely out of friendship because they want to be friends. I mean, I guess in a way, that is certainly one way to look at it. Although something tells me these places that are being invaded certainly aren't acknowledging that there's a friendship involved at all. One thing I really love about this comic is it went in order in how the Japanese Empire expanded. They first got South Korea and Taiwan, and then they went after Indonesia, Southeast Asia, maybe this is Singapore. Interestingly, America doesn't look too upset about the fact that they were violating their properties. Clearly, this panel took place after Pearl Harbor since Hawaii is gone. I guess the US wasn't too mad because they had a little secret weapon. I need to see more from this manga. Dad! Huh? Please help me, says the South with a black eye. Ah, uh, you again. The US is too strong. I will not help you. You're just a disappointment to our family. But, but, no buts. Aww. Oh no, it looks like they're being encircled. Ah! So during the Civil War, even though the South really wanted some help from some European powers, they didn't get any. Now, there is a case that maybe the US and even France might have wanted the South to win, at least during a certain point. They weren't going to go as far as intervening or even recognizing this as a legitimate state. Pretty big part of that is probably just because they didn't want to support slavery. Yeah, they were kind of like this unwanted stepchild. <laughs> I wish I could whistle like a song right now. I can't do it. Some people are so good at whistling. Bulgaria is crossing the border from the EU into Turkey. Oh, Turkey with their new name too. And it looks like they're gonna go buy some groceries. The prices are up by 10,000%. Oh, remember they're using EU money. Not a whole lot on the shelves and some people fighting in this aisle, but doesn't matter. Some chaos taking place at the counter, but that's okay. That inflation's not looking too good. Sir, could you please spare euros? My money's am worthless. Looks back at this old museum. Nah, as they bounce away. So with the Turkish lira dealing with a high amount of inflation, I guess a lot of Bulgarian citizens have been crossing over to buy groceries there. Right now, one US dollar equals almost 20 lira. Just look at this drop ever since 2008. Crashed during the Great Recession, and then it kind of hovered around this region until 2012, and pretty much since then, it's just been tanking, getting worse and worse every following year. This is actually not uncommon worldwide. There's examples everywhere from citizens of one country crossing over to buy cheaper goods from another. The Greeks could probably do the same thing as well if they wanted. Interesting title here. <laughs> Okay, colonies! What you do with me, colonies, hijo de puta? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> As Spain says, I guess we'll stay here and sit then. It's pretty much an exact summary of how the Monroe Doctrine worked. Basically, the Monroe Doctrine was all about keeping foreign powers out of the Western Hemisphere. And by foreign powers, they were mainly talking about Europe, specifically Spain. However, when the Monroe Doctrine was first introduced in 1823, they were dealing with a lot of foreign powers. There's, of course, the British in Canada, Portugal in Brazil, but of course, the big one was Spain with all this. However, eventually, a lot of these places were able to get their independence to a point where there were only a couple of holding by the Europeans in the south, and of course the Canadians weren't going to get their independence for a very long time. But there was also Russian Alaska, we can't forget about that. But then the US would arguably do the final blow to the Spanish Empire by taking away Puerto Rico, Cuba, and the Philippines. Oh yeah, and there was also Guam as well. Pretty much a perfect summary right here. Oh bloody hell, those two could have been mine, says the UK looking at both the USA and Canada. Freedom. Mexico seems to be sweating down here though. Oh trust me, you'd be kicking yourself if you were in my shoes, says Sweden. How so, jolly 
old chap. Meanwhile, Ireland drunk in the background. <laughs> Estonia is speaking Skype noises. All of a sudden, a huge shadow spreads across Europe. Hi, Dad, says Russia. You created Russia? I mean, kind of, responds Sweden. Look how India and China can be seen in the background. I really love country balls that include the map as well. Makes my job a little bit easier. So in a way, this can be argued. You just have to go back to the 9th century, back during the Viking times right here. But specifically, these were the Varangian Vikings that came over and formed early states that would evolve into Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia. So while the Danish and Norwegians were attacking the British Isles, these ones from Sweden decided to head east. Never underestimate just how far the Vikings got during this time. From the Caspian Sea to Sicily in Italy, even all the way to the New World in Vinland, they was just going everywhere. Again, I think key word here is kinda. Let's not think too hard about it. I didn't realize so many people were calling you daddy. You can get these on makeshift.com, by the way. Long finish word and hello. Today, Finland is decide to make open my airspace for NATO airplane. It will keep us to being safe. <sighs> Peace and quiet is ruined, but better than dealing with Russia, yeah? But when Russia's being loud, I'm allowed to shoot. Oh, good point. Yeah, you can't really shoot at these ones anymore. Well, unless you want to deal with these Canadian geese, and those things are the most terrifying. This might be in Finland's future very soon because they are on course for NATO membership. They just now need Turkey to approve. If they do, Sweden will be a lone non-NATO island up here because Turkey definitely does not approve of the Swedes. I think they're probably thinking all this noise is probably overall worth it, though. That's true. They'll never be alone again. This French ball watching French television, Le Government Principal, announces a very, 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 very particular See change to schedule of collection of garbage for the next 0.51 seconds. This is literally 1984. Call for nationwide strike. Revolution time. Everything must be burning. <laughs> Quebec, join me in solidarity of Franco. Uh. Quebec? Was it something I said as they leave across the Atlantic? I don't think they actually want to join in on uh, whatever game France is playing right now. France does not play with their protests, that's for sure. Quebec's willing to give moral support, though. Though these two are very similar, I don't think they're on the same level. Quebec is probably not going to go to the same extremes as uh, the people from France would. That French pension change is really causing a lot of stuff to go down over there. Ooh, the new Japanese schoolgirl is really cute, says Poland. I think this is time for me to confess my love. Give her gifts that she'll never forget. La 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 la. Poland's so genius, romantic, and nervous, and excited to see her reaction. <laughs> Oh, wow, she be crying? I'm no expect flower in vase in her desk be so emotional for her. We're definitely gonna marry. <laughs> Does Poland hate Watashi this much? Uh, flowers on a desk has a very different meaning in Japan, that's for sure. Flowers on a desk usually means the student is dead. However, in anime, it could mean they were kicked out or worse, executed. Executed? How often are students in anime being executed? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be surprised. Another meeting even could be they hope that that student would no longer be alive. It's even more brutal. And that is unfortunately how this poor Japanese ball took it. And Poland had the gall to even put it was from them. I think you're gonna get smacked. Man, now I'm just so depressed. Poland basically said KYS to her. You think you're the stuff? Let's compare states then. Fine, but you'll know I'll win. Mount Rushmore, a true beauty of monument. There's nothing more American. Meanwhile, in the country ball universe, Mount Rushmore is actually just Washington DC ball. I guess you'd say that judging from dumb stamp on you. North Dakota responds by showing this big old cow. Cows beat people in any fight, any day. <sighs> Got anything else? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Oh, what it's like to live in the Dakotas. <laughs> Got anything else? No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much how this rivalry has been going for like two centuries. Actually, not even two centuries. Both of them were admitted to the Union in 1889. It's like this Cold War is playing out between the two of them. They're trying their best to have cool things, but um, they need more work. What an absolutely insane rivalry. Gotta admit, though, Mount Rushmore is pretty cool. Salem Sioux is pretty up there, though. I mean, where else in the world can you find this? I think it's underrated. Example, can I have some Coke? This is with the long O. So this is why it's important we remember to use the long Long O. You can easily be mistaken for asking the wrong thing. Oh yeah, definitely make sure you use the long O. Just remember when to use the long vowels. Any questions? Yes, please, says South Korea. Japan also says, can you not be, uh, 
what? What are you asking here? Yeah, this is my same response here, Philippines. So I guess in a lot of East Asian English classes, they want their teacher to be from the US, Canada, the UK, Ireland, not so much from the Philippines or maybe someplace else in Asia. There's even really terrible ads about the whole thing too, specifically not wanting Filipino English speakers. That doesn't make any sense at all. This is clearly not fair. And big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I forgot to kidnap you. Next date is March 19th, 2023 at 6.30 Boy, do I PM. love Arby's. Drew's Eritrean grandma. Portugal is not Drew's Balkans. Argentinian grandma. $20 grandpa. is a lot, Drew. A fat Norwalk. Brighton is the Caleb best. Caleb H. Gibson, Gibson good old Ryan. Jack Traven's annoying John friend. John Denver, Mugs and Bird, Girl, Fresh, Animations, Rye, The, the Weekend, The Great Commonwealth, Twickenham, Carl West, and Zany Boy.